If you own your own business, have multiple streams of income, or are otherwise creating some stress for yourself this tax season, then you're gonna to wanna to listen up to this. Hey, it's Coach Nate, and today's video I'm talking about stress. A new study just came out from Yale University talking about how high stress levels can impact cortisol levels, a hormone in your body, which can actually cause your body to hold belly fat if you wouldn't otherwise do that. Now what I'm talking about here is some people tend to hold their fat in their legs, maybe it's in their hips, maybe it's under their arms, but when you have a high stress season, like tax season, or someone's getting married, or whatever's happening in your life, oftentimes that cortisol can actually cause that fat to get stored right in the abdominal area underneath the skin and muscle, even if you're not someone who would normally store your fat there. This can create a problem because the more fat you store in your abdominal area, the higher your cortisol level goes, which is gonna create that vicious cycle of more fat storage. So how do we keep ourselves from getting that stress in the first place or mitigate the stress effectively so we don't end up with more belly fat storage even if we're eating the same things? You knew I was gonna say it, but exercise is a great way that's been proven to reduce cortisol levels, increase your endorphins, burn some belly fat, and build muscle. And for that, you really can't get any better than some sort of bodyweight exercise. Anytime you're combining resistance training with maybe a little bit of yoga, some stretching, moving your body through space, that's gonna be the most effective way to get this done. Mindfulness and meditation can also be important tools in your toolbox to keep you from being stressed out and to keep your cortisol levels in check. Now, you don't have to go full yogi to make sure this is effective. Simply sit in silence for five minutes, focusing on your breath in and out through your nose, and you're gonna feel a lot better. Don't trust me, try it out. Going for a walk is a great way to lower your stress levels, decrease your cortisol, burn a little bit of belly fat, get outside, breathe some fresh air, and bonus points if you take a sandbag or a weighted vest with you. Everybody likes that. Now, as someone who has approximately 452,000 servings of caffeine for an adult male in his cabinets right now, this one pains me to say a little bit, but decrease your stimulant intake. Decrease your coffee, decrease those energy drinks. When you're really highly stressed out, it's not the right time to be putting a lot of stimulants on top. Even though you might feel like you're doing better going faster, you're simply borrowing that energy from later, which is gonna cause more of that stress, more of that cortisol increase. So do yourself a favor, go a little bit lower key, try to get into more of a parasympathetic dominant nervous system state, which means rest and digest a little bit more, read your books, do your meditations, and you're gonna feel a lot better, plus less belly fat, and that's a win for all of us out here building businesses trying to be our best to be successful, be world changers. Hey, it's Coach Nate here with my kettlebell. These are just a couple simple ways that you can decrease your belly fat, decrease your cortisol levels, decrease your stress right now. If you're interested in more ways to dial this in for your specific situation in life, click the link below. Let's schedule a call. Let's chat real quick. See if there's a small tweak we can make to make your life a lot better. Talk to you soon. I have some important news for you to hear, listen to. You should listen to it. You've got to listen to it. You have to listen to it.